Hi everyone! Welcome back to my 1.19 Let's Play. My name's Sam, this channel is Catching Cosmos, and this is episode 6! I can't believe it! I thought it would take us a lot longer to get here, but I'm enjoying playing and building and sharing all of this with you, and I hope you are too. Last episode, I built this windmill in the background. As well as these crop fields and fill them with bees. I really appreciate all of the love and support from the last episode and the windmill design. Had a really fun uh, time coming up with it and building it. And like I said last episode, off camera I was going to work a little bit on the interior. And so that's what I've done. So if we go inside, you can see I've added a few different bits and pieces just to make it look like, you know, it's being used for work and things. Random minecart with a chest in it. Don't think that this is really going to make sense at all, but you know, it is what it is. Tried to make it look like there is some sort of grindstone mechanism here in the middle. Again, don't know if this is incredibly realistic, probably not at all, but looks good. And I used um, furnaces here at the bottom just for a different texture. In this corner, I have added in a bone mill machine. So pop in random plant items in the top they go down the hopper into composter into hopper into the chest so we've got a bit of bone milk already which is nice and then around the corner we have our little sleeping quarters for whoever you know works here in the windmill and then a random trapdoor that goes nowhere but one day will i'm planning on putting some pumpkin and melon farms in the bottom. Also worked on these paths a little bit, so connected everything up so far. And I've also, if we go in here, have been working on the storage area. So I did say I wanted to go down and I sort of got the, I don't know, I got the energy, the urge to do it one day and so I did it. It took a lot of resources, especially to make all of the chests, I can't wait for the bamboo wood to you know set up automatic bamboo farm so that we can make chests a lot easier but hopefully this has enough space for the storage that we'll need for this world i tried to make it look a little bit different than the rest of what we've got going on so i've got uh, some shroom lights that run down the backs of all of these to provide us with nice lighting as well as the front and that front as well and popped in all of these banners because I've gotten so many and I need somewhere to put them and then finished off the ceiling with the warped wart I think it's called is it called warped wart? warped wart it is let's do a sleep so yeah I sort of worked on those things off camera and on a couple of streams that I've done thank you everybody so much for joining in and saying hello and having a chat to me uh, they've been really fun so I'm hoping to do a few more you know in the future, whenever time will allow. I also managed to get uh, a work axe. So efficiency four, I'm breaking three. And and when I was done with the axe enchantment, the next enchantment showing up is Silk Touch, which I have been waiting for for a while. It seems like all I got was fortune. So we are almost at level 30, we're at level 29. And I figured we could get the remainder of those levels through fishing. Fishing is a feature that I love in a lot of games. I absolutely hate fishing in real life, but give me fishing in a video game and I will do it nonstop. I loved fishing in Animal Crossing. I loved fishing in World of Warcraft when I played. And I'll enjoy fishing in Minecraft, although although fishing in Minecraft is a little bit lacking, I must say. But hopefully one day they'll improve it. I mean, they make all sorts of updates, so, you know, maybe fishing update is on the way sometime soon. But just sit back, relax, and let's fish and get to these 30 levels.
There we go. Level 30 and we got a saddle. I think I was almost more excited for this than the level 30. I've been wanting a saddle for so long. There are so many things we can do with that. We can get a donkey, we can get a horse. Ugh, I can't wait to have our own horse or donkey. Okay, here we go. Please be something more than just silk touch, please. Ugh, oh, that is pretty much perfect. We just need efficiency four to add to it to make it to efficiency five, and that would be a perfect pickaxe. Wow, we're really getting some upgrades here. Unfortunately, though, the diamond supply is quite low, and as much as I love fishing, it's probably a little bit too tedious to regularly get up to level 30 while we're gearing everything up. But that leads me to another thing that happened on stream. If we just head over here to the mine area, excuse this very unfinished mine, but here where all of these torches are, I came across a zombie spawner. Look at the little guy spinning in there, which I know they're not the best XP, but there's nothing really else that I've come across other than cave spiders, and I'm pretty sure cave spiders are worse than zombies. So I figured this episode, in order to prepare ourselves for leveling and getting better gear once we get some more diamonds, we can make a zombie spawner. Okay, I'm looking at my list of stuff and although I have a lot of the things that I need, there are two things that I don't have. One of those is soul sand. I have absolutely no soul sand. The other is kelp, which I've not actually come across an ocean. So I think we need to head one into the nether to grab a piece of soul sand. And then I guess we need to go look for an ocean. I'm just gonna make myself some iron gear so that I can leave my valuable enchanted tools behind because I do not want to lose them. Grab our gold booties. Alright, let's head into the nether and hopefully find some soul sand. Okay, I know I'm high up-ish. But I don't know how high exactly. Um, okay, kind of high. Oh gosh. I hate the nether. I hate the nether. I hate the nether. I hate the nether. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I was basically holding my breath the whole time I was looking for some soul sand because it is horrifying being this high up. Okay, soul sand achieved. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Um, 
below. This is not where my nether portal is supposed to go. Why have I ended up in the cave? This is very confusing. Uh, if anybody knows what is going on there, please let me know because I'm thoroughly confused. Okay, we have our soul sand. Now we need to find some kelp. Unfortunately, this water around here is river. So we have to go on a little bit of a journey to work out if we can even, you know, if we were even remotely close to an ocean. We've been that way. That way there's a lot of snow, so I don't think we should go that way. So it's either this way or that way. We have gone that way a little bit, so maybe we'll just walk in this direction and cross our fingers. Okay, I'm gonna go on an adventure. We haven't done any adventuring in a little while, so that'll be fun. And hopefully we find what we're looking for. And if I find or come across anything interesting, I'll bring you back. Wait, is that? Oh, never mind. Ha! <laughs> well, found some kelp. Here I was thinking that there was no ocean anywhere and that it was all river. Is this, does it count as ocean or is it river? We're in the plains biome at the moment. I can hear a dolphin. Oh, it is ocean. Oh, nice. Hi, dolphin. Oh, I didn't know you were so close to me. There's two of you. Oh, you're playing with a kelp. That's so cute. Hello, friends. Yes. Oh, we're swimming. We're swimming. We're going really fast. Dolphins are the best. Oh, I'm going to drown. I'm going to drown. I'm going to drown. Well, there you go. We've got a little bit of an ocean here. I'm a little bit disappointed that I don't get to adventure now that we've found the kelp. Maybe... Maybe I can just go about... I don't know. We'll wander in this direction for maybe 10, 15 minutes, if that, and see if we can find anything. If not, we'll just head home and then we'll get to work on the zombie farm. Don't mind me, just grabbing some iron on my way through. Whoa, look at this forest. Oh, there's another jungle over here. A dog? I didn't bring any bones with me. I'm so sorry, you can't come home with me. But I can give you some food, which I just did. Hello, sheep. This must be a sparse jungle. Is that... Is this a desert? A desert! Oh my gosh. That means we can get cactus. And we have a source for sand now. I wonder if there's a temple anywhere. That would be cool. Ouch. Whoa. Whoa! Look at this coral reef! Oh, that's so cool. Oh, there's a sunken ship. Oh my gosh. I don't have any wood to get out there. Oh, it's so beautiful. Coral reefs. Coral reefs? Coral reefs. Well, whichever way. In Minecraft are one of my favorite... Oh, not you guys. Why do you have to ruin everything? And there's a temple there. Oh my gosh, this is just turning into a giant adventure. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm lagging. What is going on? That's weird. Lag in a single player world? Does that happen? Ugh. Freaked me out for a second there. Okay. One chest. Two chests. Oh, I don't think there's a treasure map chest. But yeah, I think the part of the boat that has the treasure map in it, if it did have one, is not here. Oh, dang. Let's do the temple first before we tackle that outpost. 
Okay, nothing spawn. Please. I do not want a creeper dropping on my head. Okay. Very carefully get rid of the pressure plate. Collect all the TNT. Yes, please. Oh, I've got so much junk. Okay, let's see what we got. Rotten flesh, string. Golden horse armor is good at least. What else? Another saddle. Got some bones. Maybe we'll come back across that dog. Oh my god, another saddle? I'm gonna have so many friends. And last but not least, three saddles? And some more horse armor. Okay, let's get out of here. Excuse me, what are you doing on the top? Okay, here we go. I wonder if they'll have anything good. Any... Do they have a lays? No, it's empty. Oh, there's the boss guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shush, shush, shush. Oh, you've got an enchanted crossbow. That isn't very nice. Okay. Well, you can't get up here now. Carrot sweet, crossbow, dark oak logs, bottles of enchanting. Mm. I guess a couple of... A little bit of extra EXP went hurt. Well, here we go. Oh, okay, bye. Thanks for nothing. Okay, and with that, I think it's time for us to head home. Oh my god, our friend! And I have bones. <gasps> Hello! Welcome to the family! We are going to need a name for our new doggy friend, so if anybody has any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. How lucky is that? One bone? Didn't even have any when we first came across him. And then we got all those bones from the desert temple. Look, doggy. This is your new home, puppy. What do you think? Okay, I'm gonna organize my inventory and then we can get started on the zombie farm. Okay, so in this chest here, we should have everything that we need to build our farm. I'm going to be using a tutorial by Voltrox and also by Gemini Tay. Although Gems isn't really a tutorial, but I watched some of her video and sort of am combining the two. So I think we have all of the supplies that we need to make our little farm. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is just clear out floor box on each side to make sure that we have optimal spawning space. And then we're gonna go three blocks Above, which that's fine and then we're gonna go four below two and then clear all of this out okay, and I want the zombies to flow north so this way so we'll put bucket of water here bucket of water here I'm sure you guys have seen this before but you never know and then we'll dig all of this out. And then here in the center, we'll go like so. It's getting a little bit dark. We can knock all of these out. So our water flows here. Now it's the tricky part. So I think soul sand goes back here. And then from here, we need to go, I think it's 25. Cool, it's gonna come right through this little part of the mine, but that's fine. The sign there. And now this is the part where I might die. So we want the water to flow that way, cool. And then we have to dig down. Ooh, don't drown, don't drown, come on. 
Oh, this was such a bad idea. Oh, why am I sprinting? Cool. We made it. And now, we need our kelp. And I can just bone meal this. Just one second, please, water. And that will take us all the way up here. Excellent. And now, we need to go 23 blocks down this way. Now this should be where our hopper goes. So now, I should be able to dig this area out. And now, in theory, I should just be able to break all of these torches. And our zombie friends will flow down to our spawner location. And there goes one right now. So it's working. Excellent. So, here's our room. It obviously needs a little bit of work, but something I actually wanted to do. But I thought instead of that windy little staircase, we could actually do some sort of like drop down here. Where we sort of think we can do another soul sand and maybe a magma to pull us down or a drop. You know, as a bit more of a fun way to get down here. Well, that took a lot longer than what I thought it would take, but we made it. Let's just get rid of this tree. Now, where am I? Okay, so there's the windmill. Cool, so we're like in a good spot. I'm just gonna pop this pillar here so that I know where we are. Now it's time to go all the way back down again. We're back up here. Uh, now, I am a little bit... What was that? Someone was just there. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about the snow here. And there are a couple of things I need to get. So, I'm just gonna tree hop here. Nice. I can't just have two random holes in the ground, but I was thinking it might be cool to do some kind of tree stump here that we use to go in and out of this farm. We'll have the door here. So this should go all the way down and then we'll just keep building this up. Oh, never mind. The water froze. Okay, oh, and I'm back at spawn. Uh, that is the worst thing that could possibly have happened. Which isn't too far, thankfully. Just over here. And hopefully get our stuff back. Dang, that's annoying. Well, I hope I can get down there. I don't think I blocked off any of the tunnels. Oh no, it just spawned. Oh, I'm so sad. I didn't think I was going for that long. I just need to take a breather. Whenever I die, it 
always throws me and I get really disappointed because of all the progress that I lose and the items and all of that sort of stuff. I still have no idea where things went. I'm sure I wasn't dead for that long. Um, but I've gone, gotten some gear together. I've fixed up these water tunnels. So now we can go up and down easily from the top. Um, I've got this zombie spawner set up now so I can easily get my levels back up once um, and do some more enchanting once I've gotten a lot more diamonds and all of that. So I think the last thing I want to do today is finish off the tree stump. So here we are at the top. There we go. I've got this little up and down sign. Hopefully the water does not freeze over. So I'm just going to grab all of my spruce and keep building this little tree stump. Okay, so this obviously doesn't look a lot much like a tree stump at the moment, but if we add just a little bit of shape and things to sort of drag it out, just trying to, you know, give it a bit more shape than what the circle gives it. I'm also going to have to remember to bring my leather boots whenever I come here until I've built a bit of a path because at the moment it's a little bit precarious. a little roof and then to make sure that this is spawn proof I am going to do the ceiling with some slabs obviously it's pretty empty at the moment but we can add some bushes in here maybe another lantern and then just to top it off, we'll add a few bushes around the base. And there we go, a little tree stump. This will be how we get down to our zombie spawner. So it's pretty cozy inside. I could probably do a bit more interior work. Maybe I'll do that off camera. But for now, it does what I need it to do, which will take me down, up. So if we go down here, get our spawner, collect the drops and things as they come, and yeah, I think despite the random death, things have turned around. So yeah, there you go, we did it in the end. I got a little bit rattled by dying, but I just needed to take a breath, and then, you know, I realized it wasn't so bad. We still have this Fortune 3 pickaxe, thankfully, so next episode and maybe some off-camera time will definitely be dedicated towards gearing up again um, and I'll also spend some time down with the spawner because we need to get our levels back up but I think that is where we're going to leave it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll see you in the next one. Be kind to yourself. Bye!